Before I start this video, I want to make it clear to everyone watching that this video is not about the charges that were placed on Deshaun Watson, nor what went outside of the sports and football world. This video is just my take on how the Eagles could potentially make a move on the Texans quarterback this offseason. Also, comment down below your take on this situation and I will be sure to respond to them. Now that I have all that out of the way, let's get this video going. Deshaun Watson has always been an outstanding quarterback for the Texans. He has a record of 28-25 and 25 in games he has started in his career. He brought Houston to two 10-plus win teams in 2018 and 2019, but had a 4-12 and 12 record in 2020. The 2020 season was not his fault, however, because he played himself into a Pro Bowl year. After that season, Watson requested a trade from the Texans as the organization was spiraling downhill. It seemed as if trade rumors really started to pick up in the 2020 offseason until Deshaun Watson was accused of multiple cases of sexual misconduct. I am not going to go into the full details on that, but these charges ultimately halted any trade talks from being made. On Friday, March 11, 2022, Watson was dismissed of all criminal charges, making him eligible to play in the 2022 season and better yet, get traded out of Houston. So this brings me into talk about how the Eagles could trade for Watson and the right package it would take to bring him to Philly. First up, we need to talk about the big question that has come to everyone's mind. If the Eagles trade for a big name QB, do they keep Jalen Hurts or not? I love Jalen Hurts and I think that he's very well capable of being the starting quarterback in Philadelphia, but I'm not Howie Roseman and I do not make the decisions. There is a way that we could trade for Deshaun Watson and still keep Hurts, however. Having a young Hurts play backup to Watson might help him in the future. They are both fast quarterbacks, so Hurts can learn from Watson's game. On the other side of the argument, which would be including Jalen Hurts in a package to Houston, there are a lot of more valid points. Deshaun Watson is only 27 years old, so why have a young quarterback in Jalen Hurts who still has some trade value as the backup to another fairly young quarterback? Also, if Philly were to include Hurts in the trade, they might not have to add as many picks to get a deal done. I am on the side of not making a trade for Watson. Hurts has a lot of potential as the quarterback for this team. Trading away a young quarterback along with future and current first round picks is not smart for this team right now. The Eagles currently have the 15th, 16th, and 19th picks in the 2022 NFL Draft. They need a lot of help on defense and some help with the wide receiver position. They could address those needs in the draft using three first rounders. I would use all of the three picks on defense and if they were to fall I would draft Devin Lloyd, David Ajabo, and Andrew Booth Jr. That wouldn't make the defense look scary going into the 2022 season. I'll make another video right before the draft giving my take on what a first round mock draft could look like. Going back to the quarterback position, give Jalen Hurts one more year to prove that he is something. If he cannot prove that he is something, draft a quarterback in the 2023 draft because that QB class is a lot stronger with players like Bryce Young from Alabama leading that position. Going back to Deshaun Watson, he's a very good football player, but I don't know if he fits with the Eagles right now. The Carolina Panthers and Seattle Seahawks are said to be strongly going after him this offseason, so I would just let one of those teams have him. The Eagles can contend for the division this year and have a chance to make a strong push in the playoffs, but if they want to do that, they're going to have to build through the draft. Making a play for a big time QB is not the move we need. That is going to be all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my take on the Deshaun Watson rumors. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We have been getting a lot of support recently and I was even able to reach 1.2 thousand views on one of my videos. Also, go follow my Instagram at chris.misco and go follow me on Twitter at chris underscore misco. You guys can ask me questions about Philly sports and I'll try to answer them as best I can. If we can get a lot of people to ask questions, I might be able to do a mailbag video in the near future. But anyway, I want to thank you all for the recent support on the channel. Thank you all for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one.